Welcome to the seventh installation of the Element Cube collection, where lead will be its new heavy family member. I'll be using some of the lead seen here, which I obtained in one of my oldest videos. This is the heaviest element so far, but also a very toxic one, so care must be taken while handling it. I'll be casting this using an open sand mold to avoid any cutting and sanding, and all the sand from the casting will be disposed properly. I've created this 3D printed casting pattern with LED's atomic symbol PB embedded into it. The 3D printed cube pattern is first sprinkled with a generous amount of talcum powder to make it release more easily. Then I place it with atomic symbol facing upwards to hopefully be able to capture the letters in the sand, which I start adding here and pack as tightly as possible. As I flip the mold over, I can feel the sand is not packed that well, so I will have to add some more and do my best to compress it evenly. The steel ruler can be used to scrape off any excess sand and the 3D printed pattern can now be taken out. Tapping it sideways helps loosening it a bit and make it easier to gently lift out of the sand without disturbing it. And it seems like we have a reasonable impression of the letters in the sand, so I'll put it to the side and find my portable stove and a pot which can be scrapped afterwards so no lead contamination will be carried on to future projects. The lead ingots are added and the stove set to medium heat. This should of course be done in a well ventilated area and care must be taken to not reach 500 degrees C as lead fumes will start to be released at this temperature. Seven minutes later, the lead has reached its melting point of 327 degrees C and can be gently poured into the sand mold while trying to aim away from the letters so they don't get knocked over. While solidifying, the metal contracts quite a lot, causing a cavity you can see in the center of the cube. This is to be expected as lead shrinks around 2% when transitioning from being molten to a solid. When it has cooled down to less than 100 degrees, I start digging it out of the sand to see how the casting went. The sand is now contaminated with lead to some degree and will therefore be packed in a tight container to be disposed safely according to local regulations. Carefully the cube is scraped clean with a sharp plate to avoid creating any harmful dust. And of course nitrile gloves are worn and thorough hand washing is performed. The lettering looks very nice, but to make it more readable, I fill the letters with some black metal paint using the sharp point of a nail. It actually ends up looking better than I hoped for. As the final step, I will be covering the cube in at least 5 layers of clear acrylic spray to seal the surface, so the cube can be handled and touched with less anxiety. No matter what, I will still recommend a good hand washing after having touched the cube.
I'm quite pleased with the result and even though the acrylic surface is a bit different to my other cubes which have been sanded to a smoother surface. It is quite interesting to feel the difference in weight between my lightest 0.3 kg aluminum cube and my 1.4 kg lead cube. And finally a little view of my element cube collection which has reached 7 happy members. Thanks for watching and see you soon.